brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Tourism. Speaker Therese Trelawhi is tired of the lip service and wants action from Public Health Director Art St. Augustine. I don't think it should be something swept under the rug. I think it should be dealt with. I don't want it to be perpetuated. As KUAM first reported, over a month ago, certain nurses at the government's quarantine facility were accused of drinking on the job, sleeping on the job, not being on site, not responding to patient calls, and logging in hours on timesheets that they weren't actually working. Additionally, their supervisor was accused of helping cover up the problems because of a familial connection. Speaker Torlahi had requested for a full report on the matter from the director, but she's still waiting. The bad news in that one is no, I don't have any report from the director. In fact, the update I received was that they're still looking into it. What she has learned is that these nurses may have been moved. I continue to receive calls from nurses who are assigned to quarantine, who are saying that it looks to them like the ones who were, you know, alleged uh, to have, uh, you know, uh, committed fraud on their timesheets, uh, by, you know, doing things while they were on duty or, um, you know, poor management, that they have been just transferred, just moved around, and that, uh, so they have a, a different supervisor up there, and I think that's good, but this moving around people without getting to the bottom of, of the issue, you know, I don't support that, and I told the director this, and, uh, and he keeps saying he's waiting for, um, is it somebody at DOA to, you know, do something with the timesheets, and uh, so unfortunately, I don't have I don't have uh, their full response on it yet. Also unfortunate, according to the speaker, based on the phone calls she's been receiving, the inaction by the director it appears is causing a damper on morale. We have these people in the front lines doing such good work, and then to detract from their good work with you know this type of thing going on, you know, I just think. It would be it would be in their best interest at public health to swiftly address this. And I think that's really what they want to know. And they want to know that if somebody's done something wrong, that they're going to be that that's going to be they're going to be held accountable and not just, you know, transfer it someplace else and continue to receive benefits. So will she hold another oversight hearing? Well, I'm at that point already. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matanani.